love. But, um, I want to just share a little bit about the vision for Life School for, uh, for this coming year and specifically the Life School Golf Tournament that will be held on Friday, October the 22nd, which is only five, six weeks away now, and time kind of goes by fast. Um, I'm really excited uh, and challenged by this year's uh, tournament and the vision that really drives the, the tournament. Um, uh, we're, I mean, I think most of you who are, who are here and maybe those a lot, all of you who are watching online or watch this online, realize that we just finished a two-year cycle where, uh, you know, by God's grace, we uh, took about 2,800 uh, pastors in, I think, nine African nations through the Life School program. And so um, we're at the pro point of now registering uh, new students in, into uh, the Life School uh, for the next cycle that will start in January. And we have about... Um, uh, 1,200 right now uh, that are registered, and we'll, I'm sure we would probably be able to get to the 2,800 again, but we're going to cut the registration off at about 2,000 uh, pastors and, and 10 nations this year. We're uh, adding Burundi uh, as one of the uh, African nations, and so uh, we're excited about that, and uh, in addition to that, one of the things that I'm really excited about is that we're adding another dimension to the Life School vision. Uh, I think a lot of you who will watch this are aware that uh, there's a, been a prophetic uh, initiation that we believe of a global forerunner movement around the world uh, to raise up a, a forerunner company or a forerunner vessel uh, who would uh, be a people who would prepare the church for the second coming of Christ, to prepare for, to raise up forerunners, to become forerunners, who would prepare a corporate man who would ultimately prepare the bride that would make it the, the, the earth ready for the Lord to return. There's an urgency in the, in the spirit, I think, that a lot of us feel that, uh, and I certainly I do. And I think many of you do uh, as well. And we've, Life School has been involved to be a part of that, been uh, invited to be a part of that. Uh, and so that's part of the vision this year, which will add an extra dimension of financial need as well as uh, just the uh, aspect of, uh, you know, just different things that we'll be doing with it. So let me just talk a little bit about this. I want to try to keep this short. Uh, but let me just talk a little bit about this. The Church Transformation Project, CTP, uh, that's the program that we've been doing for a number of years now. And our plan is to take about 2,000 pastors, senior pastors, who will, who will train their churches. They will learn the materials and they will train their churches. The classes like God's Eternal Purpose or the Eternal Blueprint, prepare, Understanding the Bride of Christ, as well as some foundational classes and even a new class on the inward life, living the in, from the inward life of Christ. Very much needed in Africa, all of these classes are. We'll do three classes in, uh, in 2022 and then two more in 2023 to finish uh, that. So that's the, that's the CTP, pretty much the same thing that we've been doing uh, there with that. But the new uh, aspect of this is that we're joining a, uh, the global forerunner movement. We're joining that global forerunner movement uh, in, with an urgency to prepare the bride, which will return, which will ultimately uh, come, uh, result in the second coming uh, of Christ. So let me just talk a little bit about what we're planning specifically with that. Um, we, we have 28 regional leaders in Africa uh, in 10 different nations. And so our plan is to develop those 28 regional leaders in, in 10 nations to become active members of this global forerunner movement. Now, in, in varying degrees, they're, they're already doing this, uh, some more so than others, but to bring the 28 regional leaders into this forerunner uh, movement, um, to, to lead them, and then to lead them to expand 
this movement by discipling maybe approximately 10 senior pastors who have this heart of a forerunner uh, in the same movement. So, you know, if it works out as planned, that would be 300 or so forerunners raised up in the next couple of years uh, to join this global group. That's our, that's our vision for that. Uh, and to do that, to, for the mission bases, the plans for mission bases in 2021 and 22, we would work with them to develop an eternal purpose mission base. So there would be 28, if all, all worked out right, there would be 28 eternal purpose mission bases <coughs> where they would be creating a spiritual environment in their churches for the man-child to come forth, the corporate man, God's eternal purpose to be fulfilled, the bride to be made ready. Now, that sounds like something that you would think they were already doing, and a lot of them are. However, there's a, there's a major flow of different approaches taking place in Africa. So they would be a unique, that, that kind of a spiritual environment would be a unique uh, atmosphere in many of the places in which they live, many where they're creating an atmosphere for people to, to understand and to be made ready as the bride of Christ. Part of that vision and these mission bases would be that they would establish an eternal purpose. I'm calling it a house of prayer, but it's not necessarily a building. It is. It will be a function, a, 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 fun, a prayer function based on God's uh, eternal purpose. And then they would train their church and the community to whatever degree they can in the principles of the forerunner call, but using the, the forerunner school materials. Uh, and then finally, as I mentioned earlier, they would disciple maybe up to 10 pastors uh, each uh, in the same material to expand this forerunner uh, 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 emphasis. So there's a, there's a major additional uh, emphasis being added uh, to what we've been doing with LifeScope. Now, what are some of the resources that we need uh, for this? Uh, one of the things that we feel like we have to do to, in accord, to, for the mission basis is we have to provide some laptops and uh, video projectors for maybe up to eight, to, uh, depending a little bit on just the, the situations, uh, up to eight of, of those to key leaders. And then we were going to, then we are going to take the notes of the Forerunner School as, re, as well as videos uh, that we've been recording that are part of the Forerunner School and send them to these eight leaders who will then use them to develop themselves as a, in the Forerunner Call as well as to multiply that. I mean, all of you that, those of you that have been on our, some of our Zoom calls, you realize the, the quality of the uh, network and technology in Africa. And these guys have a heart, real heart. That they would, you could do all this through the internet if, there were, if the capability was there. But right now, it's not there. The network is very difficult and they have to come in and go. So we're going to have to send materials over there to them. And then they will use that uh, to uh, to, to train others. So we'll facilitate these eight senior leaders in uh, several nations and they will then multiply it into the other uh, leaders. So that leads us to the golf tournament. Uh, this is, that was the vision in a nutshell, but what is the, but we, there's a financial uh, resource needed with that because most of these people, the, the leaders as well as the ones they minister have a hard time putting food on the table so it's not something where they can just go out and buy a set of notes or do, do all the things there that we, we pretty much have to do it uh, at no cost to them. And so, so far, uh, we've been able to, uh, to fund uh, all of this w from America and, and other places, Western nations, and then to be able to uh, help them at no charge to them. And that would be our plan for this year. So anyway, that leads us to the golf tournament. Uh, we're hoping, praying for 24 golfers. We had 20 last year. We'd like to have 24 golfers. Uh, and we'd like to have as many as possible non-playing ambassadors. A non-playing ambassador would do the same thing as a golfer would do uh, other than not play. 
and that would be to raise, not only give, and I'm hoping and praying that all of us will participate in giving, but to also send out emails, send out notes, uh, make phone calls, asking others, saying, I'm participating in a fundraising golf tournament. Would you be willing to support this? 100% will go into the supporting this move in Africa. Would you be willing to be a part uh, of this? To, that would be a non-playing ambassador. You would do the same thing as a golfer, uh, as well as, except you just wouldn't uh, play golf. So our goal is to raise $60,000 this year. The most we've ever raised has been in the $40,000. We've probably raised the most was probably 45,000. So we're looking at, a, at expanding the goal, but I really do believe it can be done this year if, if everyone who watches this will jump into it and participate, uh, we, we can do it. Um, we will spend about $15,000 on the purchase of laptops and the projectors and the getting the materials over there, and about 45,000 would be allocated to the uh, uh, just distribution of materials to the and administration to the various ones. Uh, it's very students, the 2,000 students or so. So how do you participate? You can be a golfer, uh, you can, and you can be a golfer in one of two ways. You can raise funds and play for free, or you can pay at least a minimum of $250 uh, and, and, and kind of a pay to play thing. So, we're, so I know we have a number of the captains here. Uh, let's try to raise up 24 golfers or more. We can always add more. 24 golfers or more who would either pay to play or to play free and to raise funds. Um, then there's the, the other way to participate would be as a non-playing ambassador who would raise funds uh, through emails, sending out emails to your contacts and asking them to support you uh, in doing this. Uh, as well as you and may, me give uh, toward the goal of the $60,000 goal. Um, so how do we become an ambassador? This is uh, I'm wrap, getting close to the end of this, but get, how do we become an ambassador? There's a donation page, uh, and the link is here, and I'll send it out on an email form uh, uh, early next week. Uh, you can sign up on the uh, our uh, DonorRise uh, web page, and you can create your own donor uh, place where people can give to you, give uh, to this through you, and you can use that to send out. You can give generously, uh, and then you can send out requ requests uh, to others. So that's how you can become an ambassador. Uh, it's real simple. Uh, and uh, I've, I've found that everybody that I've asked is, I've never had anybody really get upset because I've asked. They just, uh, you know, some don't participate, some do, but there's a, a real generous, you know, a real accepting spirit toward this. So if you need more information about it, you can email us at info at restorationlife.org, info at restorationlife.org. So I pray that uh, we will be able to hit our goal uh, or even exceed it uh, because I'm excited and I believe God is excited that uh, of this additional element uh, to what God wants to do in addition to the, uh, the CTP, which we've been doing for a number of years. And the CTP makes a... Huge impact. I mean, I wish you could uh, just get here all the different testimonies of people sharing about that. So anyway, God bless you, and uh, thank you for listening uh, to this vision that I've shared. So all right, turn it back over to Brian. Glad to see you're not retiring, so... <laughs> Ha, <laughs> ha,